Hello, my name's Jane. I'm a paediatrician at the Royal Free Hospital in London. Monty the Penguin starred in a famous Christmas television advert in 2014 when our hospital joined Wave 1 of the SAFE Collaborative and we implemented multidisciplinary ward safety huddles. There was already a drive for improving the ward safety culture on our general paediatric ward at the Royal Free Hospital. The Pew's charts had been well embedded, having been one of the first test sites in the UK for the paediatric early warning score charts. We also used SBAR, the communication tool, on a regular basis from both the medical and the nursing teams. Alongside the implementation of the safety huddle, we also were looking at the sepsis 6 pathway and the learning from excellence reporting. In this talk, I'll outline our approach to safety huddles, but also briefly mention a couple of our other improvement initiatives that resulted as a, a result of the team coming together over the SAFE um, model. Druggles are weekly medication safety focused um, talks at the end of each huddle from our pharmacist, feeding back medication errors to the entire team. And we've noticed these really help empower the nurses to challenge prescription errors as well as educating everyone from the medical and nursing teams. We also really focused on engaging patients and parents in our safe um, teamwork. And in particular, we introduced daily plan whiteboards at the bedside to help improve communication between the medical and nursing team, as well as patients and parents. And we also had a very innovative approach called safety on the menu, whereby our fantastic housekeeper would feed in parental concerns into the morning huddle, having been round all the parents to get their menu options for the morning. Finally, we also were involved in What Matters to You, an international initiative, and we, we really led the way at our trust with a coffee morning for parents to listen to their improvement ideas and to think how we can improve care for children and young people on our ward. So the focus has been on improving situation awareness. And this is very much looking at the importance of distributed situation awareness. This being a dynamic awareness which is wider than individuals in the team. And as I mentioned, Monty the Penguin starred in a famous television advert. And we use Monty as our mascot to help engage members of the team. And this is one of the posters designed by children on our ward to help engage every member of the team. So in terms of our approach, this is one of our initial um, tests for the eight questions that we ask in our morning and evening huddle. These eight questions are asked of every child on the ward in order to ascertain if there are any children at risk of deterioration or any children with other safety concerns, such as safeguarding concerns. And we tested out this script with an introduction script as well as um, these eight questions, which all the team fed back so that everybody was on board with this process. And as I mentioned, we really focused and we're really proud of how we engaged every member of our team on the ward. And one of the, the real strengths was having champions from every team. So we've got pictures here of Steve, our deputy head of the school, um, Darani, who was one of our ward pharmacists, Carl, who was our champion nurse, who also looked at the Pew's um, audit as well to ensure that the Pew's scores were being fed accurately into our huddle. Um, and this was Abby, who was our, one of our play team. And as you can see, there were many other members of the multidisciplinary team who fed into the huddle. And again, Monty the Penguin in the middle as a little um, reminder to everybody what we were focusing on. So as I mentioned, staff engagement was important and we actually heard from members of the team to ensure that this was adding value to everyday business. So our huddles occur in the morning and in the evening. Very short 10 minute exchange of information between the medical nursing team and other wider members of the multidisciplinary team. And these are pictures of some of our early huddles which demonstrate the number of people who come together in the morning and see its value. And as you can see, the quotes that were mentioned were that it really helps to preempt problems, helps everybody understand um, all the patients on the ward and improve their knowledge of this. But I think what's been really um, beneficial to our ward and our safety culture has been that real sense of support. Simply having introductions to get to know every member of the team, including the teachers, the play team, the housekeeper, um, 
the safeguarding team, the nurses and the doctors has been really, really helpful. And finally, some top tips from our SAFE team for others wishing to implement safety huddles in their ward. Firstly, both medical and nursing leadership is key and the importance of identifying champions from all the different staff groups involved in the huddle. It's important that all the teams see the huddle as value and that this can be added to what we would describe as business as usual on the ward. So our huddles occur after both the medical and nursing handovers so that further information can be exchanged to ensure that all safety concerns are addressed. Through the huddle process, we encourage flattening of hierarchy so that everybody's contribution is important to the huddle. Finally, change can take time and it's important to continually improve and engage the huddle process so that everybody continues to um, engage and be um, assured that value is added. And finally, share learning and celebrate success.